or the bar shown in the figure calculate the reaction produced by the lower mm -hmm. support on the bar take angst modulus is equal to 200 giga newton per meter square find also the stress in the bar here there are two bars both are rigidly fixed at their ends and producing some of the reaction forces and the area of the bars also given in the figure and height of both the bars are mentioned in the figure and we have this length additional length in this question so this is the important to understand in this problem so 1.2 millimeter actually it is millimeter here so it is 1.2 millimeter the total elongation of the bar is given this is nothing but it is delta l this whenever you have this type of gap in the quotient so that will be the total deformation of the bar so that is delta l okay so now a question may have to calculate karna hai reaction forces calculate karna hai ob jo niche produce ho raha hai jo lower part mein so upar r1 hai aur niche r2 hai to aapko calculate karna hai r2 value and you have to calculate the stress in the bars okay to aapko sigma 1 aur sigma 2 calculate karna hai okay so aapko r1 aur r2 kaisa calculate karna hai wo maine previous problem mein bola tha the basic equation is delta L is equal to PL divided by A. So deformation ka jo equation hai, wo haan pe, haan pe apply karne ka. Thik hai? To, aapko first kya, kya calculate karna hai? Aapko reaction forces kya hai, wo calculate karna hai. Jaisa ki R1 aur R2 calculate karna hai. To, equilibrium force ka condition kya hai? Sum of the reaction forces is equal to the force applied. Hence, R1 plus R2 is equal to 55 kilo newton लिख सकते हैं, ठीक है? तो next यहाँ पे जो angst modulus दिया है, तो question में angst modulus E एक ही दिया है, तो both material having same angst modulus, okay? So that is 200 giga newton per meter square. So check all the values are in millimeter square and some are in meters. So convert any one uh, units okay either in meter or millimeter so some are maximum are in meter okay that is angst modulus and length are in meter so i will convert the area is also in the meter so that is 100 110 millimeter square 110 millimeter square means 110 into 10 power of minus 6 meter square okay so that will be the area for the different check uh, both the sections so once you have converted all the units in the standard form, then we will go for the solution. So let R1 and R2 will be the reaction at lower and upper supports. If the bar Mn finally rests on the lower support, Mn will be the second element where the lower element, it supports on the lower supports. We have R1 plus R2 is equal to 55 kilo newtons sum of the reaction forces is equal to the force applied we have only one force so that is 55 kilo newton so kilo into kilo means 10 power of 3 so you will get 55,000 newton so let us say equation 1 so what is the force at element 1 so force at element 1 so r1 is acting tensile and 55 kilo newton is acting 50 uh, sorry another load at the left side is acting 55 kilo newton so force at the element 1 so i can write 55 minus r2 will be the force at element 1 55 kilo newton minus r2 because it is tensile and this is compression so 55 minus r2 will be the force at lm Okay, force at the element 1, it means that is R1 is equal to 55 minus R2, tensile force. Similarly, for the element 2, for the element 2, one force is acting that is under compression. Okay, that is R2. So, R2 will be the force at element 2. 
that is compression now what is the total change in length for the element 1 small element that is lm so that is delta l is equal to force into length divided by a into e okay so area force is taken as this one for the element 1 55 kilo newton minus r2 into length for the element 1 1.2 meter divided by area 110 into 10 power of minus 6 minus 6 is taken because we have converted in meter into angst modulus 200 into 10 power of 9 so 10 power of giga means 10 power of giga 10 power of 9 okay so 200 10 power of 9 newton per meter square so newton per meter square remains will be same because we are taking in meter so only this we have to convert 200 into 10 power of 9 will be the angst modulus so similarly for delta l2 for the element 2 that is force is r2 into length is 2.4 this one divided by area is 220 into 10 power of 6 into the angst modulus so let this will be the equation 2 and this will be the equation 3 so once you calculate delta l1 and delta l2 you have to go for the equilibrium condition so here here one is tensile and another is compression means delta l1 minus delta l2 tensile will be taken as positive compression will be taken as negative so delta l1 minus delta l2 is equal to what is equal to the total deformation that is delta l that is 1.2 millimeter okay so that's only we have written here delta l1 minus delta l is equal to 1.2 millimeter means we have to take into meter so i have made a thousand by two okay so once you calculated delta l1 substitute the delta l1 here this is delta l2 is equal to the delta l so from the equation from this solution we have only one unknown value in the entire equation that is r2 so from the this equation we obtain the value of r2 by using by making the solution you will get r2 value that is 16500 newton so you can convert in kilo newton r2 is equal to 16.5 kilo newton so once you get r2 value you have to calculate r1 also for the upper upper supports okay so we know the equation for r1 plus r2 is equal to 55 kilo newton so just substitute the value of r2 in the equation you will get r1 is equal to 38.5 kilo newton so once you get r1 and r2 so your first task will be complete here okay what is that first task to calculate